Hi, everyone. I'd like to introduce you to a very special guest, one of our pro cosmetologists, Jay from Los Angeles, California. Jay, thank you so much for taking the time to sit down with me and answer some questions. Uh, we believe this is going to be about, about a $2,500 value interview that's going to attract many potential clients for you. People want to know who they're working with, so let's give them some insight on who you are and what you do. You ready to get started? Yes, thank you for having me. So who is Jay? Jay is a beauty professional. I've been doing hair for 35 years. I'm wow. a LA native and I would say the beauty business is my passion. I have so much experience. I've owned two salons, full service salons with all hair, skin and nail services. And I'm currently working out of two salons. One is my own business in Brentwood. And I am about to open up another shop over in the Calabasas area. I'm very, very busy. And okay. I enjoy being a part of mobile styles. I'm very um, cutting edge, you know, I like to stay modern and current. And that's what I liked about, about um, mobile styles is that it's a technology based company. So I like adding that to my arsenal of jobs. Awesome. I'm also a real estate agent. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah. Okay. Very well I'm very busy. <laughs> <laughs> a jack so. of all trades. <laughs> yes. So yeah. you mentioned I'm one that of those, I'm one of those cosmetologists that can pretty much across the board do all the services. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So our clients can really book with you for just about anything. Yes. And awesome. I want to say that I'm a professional, so I'm always on time. I'm never late. And I like to use the best products. I'm a product junkie and I'm always looking for the latest and the greatest. I'm all okay. about quality. So for example, I'll even show you, I have the most, you know, beautiful scissors. Ooh. Ooh. Have you ever seen an Eiffel Tower scissor? I can't think <laughs> that I have, but those or are pretty Or clippers cool. with a Buddha on it. Okay. <laughs> so I use the best products on my clients. I mean, look at these clippers. See, these are the foil shaver. Wow. So beautiful. Yeah, I use the best products. Even with um, the, the hair products I use, top of the line, and I like to try and get my client's hair in really good condition. So that's part of the reason why I use good products because a lot of the clients that come to me, when they start with me, I assess the damage and then their hair is always in better quality after. The high, my highlights, they also last a long time. Between services, they can go longer. So I'm all about quality. Okay, great. What are some um, products that you swear by that you think everyone should have on their shelves? Um, usually I kind of like to keep that between myself and my client. That way they can get it through me. <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> fair. <laughs> yeah. Um, you and mentioned staying up to date on current trends. Um, so what are those current trends that you're interested in right now? Well, in business, like I'm seeing a lot of technology and I think that's very exciting. Um, as far as with, um, I think there's a lot of great products out there also that are great in keeping the hair healthy. Okay. Awesome. Yes. And as far as with color, I love all the, um, the colors now that are lavender with silver, blue, the pinks, all the vibrant colors, the light chromey pastel colors, rose gold. I think that's really exciting with hair. Okay, what would you say is your signature look? My signature look? Um, I don't really have a signature look because it depends on the client. Okay. It real I really customize the looks for each client. Okay. What's your favorite service to provide? 
my my favorite i like to do facials actually okay i love to do facials a lot of clients tell me that i have healing hands okay and i pretty much knock everyone out i make everybody sleep <laughs> and sometimes people get very emotional i've had some of the women cry um really? yeah i love to do facials but i have a and but i'm also really good with hair Okay. Yeah, awesome. I've really So not only do I use really good products, but I'm also really big on education. So even though for example, like a bob, I'm not doing the same bob cut straight out of beauty school like 35 mm -hmm. years ago. I'm always taking classes and I'm continuing my education to find better ways of doing cuts or color. Um even with my highlights. So if I have a highlight appointment, I'll even just do some extra research to find other ways of doing it faster or better color or you know I, I'm always constantly evolving and always trying to do my best. Okay, great. Is there an educational opportunity that you wish existed that currently doesn't? Um professionalism, I think. I see a lot of um hair stylists and that I think that just make me cringe <laughs> because I feel like they're not that professional and I think professionalism is very important because it is a business. Right. It's a business and I think it should be treated you know where we're you know very ethical and we are uh, we present ourselves well. I think all that is very important. Definitely. What would you say inspired you to start working in the beauty and health industry to begin with? Um, well, when I was little, when I was a little girl, I was always interested in the beauty business. I used to grind rocks, like the the rocks that looked like chalk, and I used to grind them into powder and say it was face powder. I used to get red rocks and grind them and say it was blush and I used to pretend that I had my own cosmetics company and I was you know, so I was always <laughs> interested in the beauty business and then when I was in high school I started to tell the kids that I would cut their hair for 5 to 10 dollars and I would do haircuts for some of the students at school And then um during dinner I told my father that I wanted to go to beauty school. And um but I told him I was interested in so many different things I wasn't sure. So he said if you wanted to do hair then um he told me to go ahead and pursue that and have a license because it's good to have things to fall back on. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the the best advice he ever gave me. So Yeah, so I went to beauty school and I've been doing it ever since. I can pretty much do haircuts in my sleep. Like, you know, <laughs> I have scissors on me at all times. I have okay. scissors in my purse, in my car, in my home, at my work, everywhere, just in case. Hopefully you're being safe with them. Yes. <laughs> Not any sharp blade. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um okay what are some unique qualities that you possess that would attract potential clients to book an appointment with you I think a lot has to do with personality I think a lot has to a lot has to do with personality I you know what when I'm working with a client I always be I'm always mindful that this is my client's time and I always make it about my client So I'm interested in them, how they're doing in their life, and sometimes I see some hairstyles that go on and on and talk about themselves. But I try when the moment my client walks in, I try to make sure they're happier when they leave than when they first came in. So I make it all about them. And I'm very I'm pretty thoughtful. Sometimes I'm sometimes I bring them a little treat or sometimes I have a sample for them that's for their hair, you know, mm -hmm. um and I really value the relationship I have with my clients. I do. So a lot of them have been with me for many, many years. And some mm -hmm. of my clients have been with me to the end. I'm talking hospice care. I've had clients that were dying 
they've been with, with me that long. They were dying and their family called and would tell me to please, you know, go to the house because my client is in hospice care. So now I feel like I'm going to be emotional. So some of my clients, I've been with them like literally to the end. Mm -hmm. And my clients, <laughs> so my clients, the relationship I have with them is a very special relationship because I've seen them go through a birth of a child or their graduation. I've seen them go through divorce. I've seen them go through many things. And so it's not just like a therapy session, but I think they see me as, you know, like a friend. Right. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And so um, it's also just very empowering, I feel, this position that I'm in when I'm not only touching their hair, but I try, I'm, I think I touch their lives in some way, you know? Very special. Yeah. And it means, because it means a lot to them. It means a lot to them. Mm -hmm. The things that my clients tell me, it really touches me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So describe the experience that you provide to your clients from start to finish. Um, the first thing that I'll do is uh, when they tell me what they want, I try to be a very good listener. And when I'm doing a haircut, for instance, I feel like we're doing the haircut together. So I really pay attention to what they want. If they have visuals they want to show me, that's even better. I have clients that show me pictures of anime, cartoons. <laughs> that's how they want their hair cut, how they want it colored. And they tell me I'm really good at emulating even cartoons. Okay. okay so, <laughs> I, and then another thing too is during that process, when I'm cutting their hair, I'll show them a mirror and to ask, see how they like how it's shaping and how it's coming along. And then they tell me they love it, but a little shorter here or a little more you know, layered here or whatever. And so we, I feel like it's a good collaboration. I'm really good at listening to my clients. If they see they don't want to cut too much, just a little, I listen. I'd rather cut too little than cut too much anyway. I've had it happen to me. I've had my hair cut um, and the guy gave me a flat top. I looked like I was going into the army. So that kind of traumatized <laughs> me. So I yeah. never cut too much. I'm a very, yeah. very good listener. Yeah, that's um, the worst whenever you tell your hairdresser that you just want to trim and then they cut four inches off. So yes, it ha right. that happens way too often, mm -hmm. way too often. Yeah. So, you know, I'm very, I feel very honored to, to do what I do. Mm -hmm. You know, I think, um, I, you know, I take my job very seriously. I mean, I take my job very, very seriously. Mm -hmm. I've managed some of, um, I managed some salons in Beverly Hills. I, um, like I said, I have so much experience in this business and even my clientele that I have, it's, you know, a high end clientele. And so I'm in the situation where I just have to do my best. I do my best for everybody. Right. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So you mentioned keeping up with current trends, which includes technology, which is kind of the whole experience that mobile styles provides. So how would you say that your experience working for an on-demand service like mobile styles differs from working in a traditional salon? Um, I like that. Um, it's, I like the convenience of it that I can work when I have time. I can swipe that I'm available and um, I can also pick and choose if it's too far, you know, I don't have to do it. So I like that. And um, when I get paid, also, I want to add that with mobile styles, the whole payment process, it's pretty efficient. Okay, great. We'd mm -hmm. love to hear that. <laughs> yes. I don't have to keep calling uh, because the payment is late. You guys are on it. Great. You know. That's great news. Yes. <laughs> and then um, the booking department, they're also really good with following up. The good about touching base. Okay, good. And it's good to um, have that support. Yeah, definitely. Um, how has the beauty industry changed since you began working? You said you've been doing this for about 35 years. 
Yes, I've been doing this for a long time. It right. just makes me feel old. So I don't like seeing <laughs> well, you don't look a day over 30, so you're oh, doing great. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I've seen it change in the way that I feel like it's become more respectable now than it was back then. Because, like I said, when you're a professional, then you raise the game. So I think that makes a big difference. Mm -hmm. Okay. What, um, what do you like and dislike the most about being a beautician? I think, well, I think for a lot of people, there's a lot of talented hairstylists out there, but I think it's hard for some people to make money. I think that I would suggest that people, um, always try to you know do their best continue their education so they could ra have high raise their prices and um so that they can um work at a higher level yeah yeah okay because the people were this is a it's, it's it's a tough business you know we're on our feet for nine hours a day you know i used to work um i mean i pretty much work on all the holidays I mean, when I owned my business, I was working seven days a week. I worked on Mother's Day. I worked on New Year's. I worked on all the holidays. You know, it's mm -hmm. tough. Yeah. But the good thing about it is that you can always get a job. Yeah. It, you can, oh, I tell people that want to go into this business because I've also mentored people. I tell them that um, the good thing about this is no matter where you go, you can always get a job. But it's making money is not that easy you have to be able to provide the best service that way you can accumulate more clients that that helps yeah okay um let's see from who or where do you get your inspiration from for your looks for the looks um well for the looks, I, you know, just from pop culture, from, from maybe music or from social media, from mm -hmm. some of the shows that you see, some of the popular shows that gives me some ideas with magazines, staying current. Okay. Um, who has impacted you the most in your career and how? I think it's always important to have a mentor, somebody that you admire their work. And so there are certain stylists like Robert Chromians or Dan Gregory. There's, uh, I like Frederick Fakai, he's a legend. So there's certain stylists I'm always brushing up to see what they're doing and just to, just to always broaden my horizon to get ideas from some other experts. For sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, what is one beauty service that everyone needs to try and why? A deep conditioning treatment. Okay. I'd say deep conditioning treatment because a lot of the people that do color or even just being outside with the sun, people, some people blow dry their hair so much that I see a lot of people, their hair is damaged and I think, um, Everyone should get a deep conditioning treatment. Everybody should use good quality shampoo and conditioner. Okay. So that their hair is not uh, dry, damaged, so that it's shiny. Are there any that you recommend that and you hydrated. Think be good quality? Um, there's like a, specific... a drugstore brand that um, is easy. For no, not drugstore no brand. Yeah, no, professional okay. products only. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All yeah. right. Professional um, products. Get it from a professional. Okay. Um, can you give me three beauty do's and don'ts? Beauty do's and don'ts. Beauty do. Um. Always use conditioner. Always use, I'm surprised that people don't always use conditioner. I touch their hair and I can tell right away. Always, <laughs> really? always use conditioner. Yes, I could touch her hair and I could tell right away. 
I would say um, a don't would be don't have the same hairstyle for years. Once in a while, change it up. <laughs> YOLO. You only live once. Change it up. So true. <laughs> yes. My mom drives me crazy. She's like, walk. I gave her this really good haircut and she loved it. And now she will not break away from this haircut. She needs, to, uh, it drives me crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think hair is one of those things that people like to stay comfortable. They know what they like. and Yes, but yeah, change but it is up. Funny. Have fun. Mm -hmm. Try something new. It grows. You can always go back to it. Right. <laughs> Even just like switching the side that you're partying. Part yes. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Easy stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what is beauty for you? Beauty is, beauty is improvement. Beauty is transformation. Beauty is, it's, it's growth. Always, okay. it's doing better, looking better inside and out. Awesome. Um, what keeps you inspired today? Lately, it's been music. Okay. It's been music. I, you know, I like to listen to fashion show music and okay. it just really gets me in the mood. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so if some, some days I have three, like on Sunday, I have four people coming in at the same time. Mm. And so I need to get amped up and I listen to this fashion show music and it just really gets me in the mood. Okay, awesome. Yeah, <laughs> it's funny because I actually have a little bit of a cult following. Really? I have these girls and I just recently found this out. I've been doing their hair for maybe 15 years or so. And they just told me, they're a clique, they're friends. They okay. just they just told me not too long ago. One of the girls told me that they have different chats amongst themselves, their little rooms that are organized, and they have one just for me, like hair. What I did, what I'm gonna do the next time, because every time I do their hair, we talk about what we're gonna do the next time, and they get really excited and they chat about that. Yeah, they chat about that. So they, they talk about <laughs> hair and what I did and what we're going to do next. And they're really excited about it. That's and then awesome. And they share photos and they get really excited. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. And hopefully they're also telling their friends about you too. <laughs> yes. And so another thing too is the, like, for example, one of my clients, there's a certain hair product that I need and I cannot find it online. None of the stores carry it. I found a place that has it all the way, like in Calabasas. It's like 45 minutes from where I am. And as soon as I hang up the Zoom interview with you, I'm gonna drive all the way out there to get this product for her wow. hair. Wow. I go above and beyond for my clients. That's yeah. great. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sure that your clients love that and that's why they keep booking with you. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank awesome. you so much. <laughs> um, what advice would you give to an aspiring pro? Um, I just tell them just to be thorough, to be thorough and to be very meticulous, do everything perfect. I've mentored some aspiring, um, it's like students in school. And I just tell them to breathe, eat, sleep the exam, mm -hmm. like everything about it. Study, study, study. Mm -hmm. And even once they become licensed, um, to just really immerse yourself. It's very important to immerse yourself in everything in the business. Right. Know everything about it. Keep learning. Mm -hmm. Education is very important. And always do your best. Yeah. Be a sponge. Soak everything. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Don't take it for granted. Do not take your license for granted. Mm. Okay. Awesome. Um, where do you see yourself in five years as a pro? I've done, I've done everything in this industry. Um, in five years, probably, I don't see myself slowing down. 
I think okay. I will be growing old with my clients. Awesome. That's <laughs> <Yeah>. so fun. <laughs> yes. What's the biggest yes. lesson that you've learned as a pro? That it's important to listen. Definitely. Definitely. It's very important to listen. Listen to your clients. I have some clients that when they come into my chair, there are certain people, you know, I have this connection with some of my clients and we are literally crying because we're laughing so much. We're crying mm -hmm. and we're talking about something that's so touching, that's sad and we're crying. We get really emotional sometimes. Right. Yeah. It's, it's very beautiful. Yeah, it's not just the service. It's, you know, having exactly a conversation as well. So that's good. Yes, we have some very meaningful conversations. That's great. It's yeah. nice whenever your job isn't just your job. It's, you know, something that fulfills you and um, fulfills other parts of your life, too, that aren't work related. So that's yes, great. yes. Awesome. Um, how do you relax and de-stress between your appointments? I like to meditate. Okay. I like to meditate. I need to take a moment to um, just close my eyes and just breathe. Mm -hmm. Breathe and drink water. Yeah. So you know that hairstylist diet? Have you heard about the hairstylist diet? No, I haven't. It's very real to me. The okay. hairstylist diet where you are standing on your feet for nine hours you don't eat or you don't drink anything because then you have to go to the restroom. So, I mean, you're, you know, you're just so busy. And then after you consume 1400 calories in four minutes flat. <laughs> so I'm on my feet and I'm working, working, working. I have a back to back appointments mm -hmm. and I'm starving at the end of the day. And then I eat, I gouge myself after. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh um, okay, so let's say if you had to sell yourself in one sentence, how would you sell yourself to potential clients? That I take my job very seriously. I take my job very seriously. Awesome. And so I, um, I do my best. I do my best. Great. What is your favorite part about working for Mobile Styles? The convenience. That would be my favorite. Awesome. I like Glad that I can adjust. That yeah, it's very, very convenient. I like how there are so many services on there and we can put our prices. We can swipe when we're available. And we have the support of the booking department. Mm -hmm. And I just like that it's an app on my phone. It's doing business on my phone. Yeah. Really yeah. couldn't be more convenient. <laughs> yes. I think I joined Mobile Styles when you guys first started. Really? How many years ago was that? Yeah, it was in 2018. Three or four years ago. So, yeah. Yeah. Two years. Mm -hmm. And I really like it. I'm glad I did. I'm glad I joined. Well, we really like having you as a professional, so. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Is there anything else that you wanna add um, before we conclude? No, I think that's everything. Okay. I think awesome. that's everything. I love what I do, you know, and it's a journey. I feel like I'm on a journey with my clients mm -hmm. and um, it's just, it's the best part of my day every day. Great, so, well, we love to hear that. Well, thank, thank you, you so much for your time, Jay. It was a pleasure getting to speak to you and get some insight about what you do and um, who you are. So we can't wait to um, see what other clients book with you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate thank it. You. Anytime. Have a great day. You too.